Hi, welcome. We are back on Arch Linux. You can check out the latest videos of uh, installing Arch Linux and then Plasma. This is the new look. You can always change themes and icons. That's always fun. But I remember somebody asking, I'm on Arch Linux and I have issues or problems installing or building the ISO. So Arch Linux B project is all about you developing it yourself. So let's go for Vivali is installed already. And all my stuff is there already. Let's close all the tabs. And we go to Arco Linux B. That's the one we need. Linux made easy and beautiful. The B stands for build your ISO. And for instance, let's, let's uh, build our plasma again. So you have a full plasma or even minimal plasma. So let's take a minimal one since this is the full version. Well, it's not Arch Linux B, it's Arch. Let's let me make that clear again to you guys. Uh -huh. Yupla. So yes, it's Arch Linux, definitely a vanilla installation then um, getting all the Lego blocks back in. So it's all about choices, design, it's up to you what you choose. And that's the fun in Linux, you can do whatever you want with the system. But I wanted to record for everybody to see if you are on Arch Linux in phase five, and that's what we call it, phase five here, that's Arch Linux B. If you go one level up, let's first do control C. So I don't have, that. I have this blue thing here. If you go down here, you'll see more about information about phase two, three, four, five, phase two, three, four, five. There's a learning curve we um, tend to follow. But of course, it's all about freedom. You follow whatever you want. I would like to go to, the desktop is good. Can I get to a terminal here? Let's open this then, desktop, right mouse click, and then terminal. So, git clone, git clone, what? Control shift B, that one. Oops, there was already a git clone in there. So two times git clone is a bad thing. And the only thing you need to know, basically, this is an Arch Linux installation. Um, just run number 30. Super technical, run 30. Oops, it is technical with a slash. And there you go, this guy can go. This guy goes here and then he wants to know my password. Everybody knows my password, but <laughs> hey, that's when you make videos. So he is installing things, checking if Arch ISO is installed. Normally it's not installed. So then the application that's going to build our ISO, what we rely on is Arch ISO. And if anything changes in that one, I need to figure out again how to change everything again to, to update it. So if Arch ISO is not installed, it's going to be installed and then it's just your standard walk away, go eat, go drink and come back and your ISO will be ready. Let's pause the video here and um, see the last thing is the ISO. Hi, welcome. We are back. It's two point gig that has been built and um, we could have a look at the place where it is super shift return is a shortcut we'd like to have and it's always going to be something Arch Linux out Arch Linux D out or Arch Linux B out so in here we have an ISO and it's this ISO that we're going to put in uh, our next video which is a virtual box what I could include in this one or maybe let's make a separate one that's um, first off this is a clean arch installation arch Linux installation so that means that the virtual box is not installed at all. So I need to install that first and then we can try out uh, this minimal plasma version that we've built on Arch Linux. Just uh, making this video to tell you guys you can build your own Arch Linux version on any Arch Linux system. So you could have a home situation where you have several PCs and on Arch and others on Arch Linux and um, well, it's a great way to, to learn more about your system. All right, cheers.